Here we have the new 2024 Buick Encore GX. This one comes in the Avenir trim level with front wheel drive and the beautiful white frost tri-coat. And I mean, this thing just sparkles with this paint. And we have Whisper Beige perforated leather interior with ebony accents. And then we have the upgraded powertrain, a 1.3 liter turbocharged three cylinder engine. And that's made it with a continuously variable transmission. But as we come to the front end here, just beautiful again with this white frost tri-coat. I love the galvanized grill here that looks fantastic. That new Buick logo. And then we have the LED headlamps along with the LED daytime running lights. And just a, a great overall front end. Just beautiful. And then what makes this car pop even more? We have these 19 inch premium Avenir wheels with that new logo again. Just a stunning look. Now we get passive keyless entry on all four doors. And then over here we have our power door lock controls, memory seat controls. Let me turn this down. And then we have to do the memory seat hit set, hold the number you want to set it to, and then to recall, just press that number there. And then we also have our power mirror controls here. So we can pick a side, power just using the dial, a rear window lock here. And then we have express down on three of the windows and the driver's side we have automatic one touch up and down blind spot monitor in that side mirror there we do have a power lift gate so the controls for that are there we can click that button to open and shut it bottle holder Bose sound system and i'll show you what package includes all of this headlamp controls hood release we do have a manual tilt telescoping steering wheel and then here's our power driver's seat with two-way power lumbar support. And I love that whisper beige and then having that brown pinstripe around the seat just looks fantastic. But I wanna give a huge shout out to Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro for letting me review this Encore GX today. I'll leave a link below in the description. But here is the actual window sticker so you all can pause anywhere you need to if you wanna take a closer look at anything. So quite a bit comes on here standard. And then as you can see, we have the panoramic power moon roof, which is $1,500 and then $1,300 extra for the Avenir convenience package, which I highly recommend. You get the hands-free lift gate. So you can just use your foot instead of having to hit the button. And then you have the Bose sound system with the rain sense wipers. And that white frost tri-code, it's 600 bucks, but love that. And then stickers right at 36,440. Well, let's see about this rear leg space. I have that seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. So let's go ahead and check this out. So I just reviewed a GX Preferred and pretty much same leg room back here. I can't necessarily sit 100% comfortably behind someone of my size, but it's usable and you scoot the seat up a couple inches and you're good to go. But I like that we have the seat back pockets on both sides. And then with this being the Avenir, you have a USB-A, USB-C port, but you also have, I believe that's a 120 three-prong household plug-in down there. Kind of a weird spot to get to. And then the center seat here, bottle holders are there. And that is the, the roof line with the sunshade up. I love this Whisper Beige interior. It just feels like I'm in like a high-class Mercedes or something but this hanger hook will hang one plastic hanger or several metal hangers. But let's go ahead and make our way towards the back. Fuel fillers there. And then one of my favorite parts, we come around to the back end here is we get the LED tail lamps. And I love that finish of the tail lights itself. It's just a beautiful look in my opinion. Just stunning. And then you have that Diffuser down there. Well, it's not really a diffuser, but you know, that rear bumper looks fantastic. But again, you can use the hands-free system, but I just like to use the button, it's easier. And then plenty of space behind the back seat here, and there's your spare tire. And then we do have the pocket on the side if you wanna keep stuff in the back you don't want rolling around. You have that.
Now coming around to the rear passenger side, if you wanna fold that seat down, push in, and when the seat's up far enough, it'll fold flat. And then you can also kind of move the seat, the headrest, excuse me, out of the way. And when I fold all that down, it fits no problem. And then pretty easy to just pull it up, folds right back into place. And then to the front passenger seat, I do like that we have the power seat bottom and then we have the two-way power lumbar support. But we don't have the power seat back, so we can do this. And we have all that additional space if you wanna run longer objects in the back all the way through basically to the glove compartment. And then our glove compartment here, owner's manuals are in there, okay size. But I love the trim here. That's beautiful. Again, the Whisper Beige just does it for me and then having the black accents throughout definitely helps. And then around here to the engine bay, there's that 1.3 liter turbocharged three cylinder. Again, you can get a 1.2 liter in some of the lower trims if you wanna save some money. Let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So nice leather wrapped steering wheel here. Toggle for the heats there. There's the horn. Love the sound of the horn. That's nice, very nice. To the radio here, I think this is an 11 inch screen. So we do get our AM, FM, XM radio along with Bluetooth audio. And then we have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android auto compatibility along with that. We have dual zone automatic climate controls with this Avenir particularly. We can adjust fan speed from the screen. I love the graphics there. We do have the same stuff kind of down here along with our three stage heated seats for the driver front passenger. Then we can set our auto mode there, turn that off by adjusting the fan speed. So it's nice to be able to go between the two of them. And then over here, if you wanna go through your trip meter, you have that and then your gauges as well as your maintenance. And then in the maintenance screen, you can see tire pressure, brake pad life, and then your oil life and engine air filter life there. And then to connect your Bluetooth, pretty easy, go to manage phones, add phone, it walks you right through it, tells you what to do on your Bluetooth device and you're good to go. So I like how this is set up. You have notifications as well in this top right corner, it tells you like, we're low on gas, so it's telling you that there. And then the settings here, you can change date and time, language. And then your units you can change from US to metric there. So I like that you pretty much have everything that you need and there's no extra stuff to go through. Team driver, rear seat, all that's there. And for volume, you can adjust that here. Click that button to mute. And there is the backup camera. Guidelines follow you as you turn the steering wheel. Hazards here, and we have a 12 volt USB-C, USB-A port there. And then our lane keep assist with lane departure, we can toggle that, the traction control and the auto stop, we can turn off by hitting that button. Now for the shifter, you just grab the lever behind, reverse neutral drive, then you have a low gear, and then you can manually shift kind of the revs of the CVT because it's not a traditional transmission, but you can kind of find the rev points using that there and then electronic parking brake, pull up to engage with the brake, press down and disengage. Center console bottle holder here, and then the actual cubby space is here, and then more space underneath there. Now up here we have our garage door transmitter, the universal home remote, sunroof controls, sunshade controls, and then for the lights here, OnStar as well. And with the shade all the way back, we're gonna go ahead and slide it and that's how far back it goes so pretty good size there in terms of the opening and there's a view of the back seat from up here and then to the vanity mirror there's that now back to the steering wheel we do have the turn signal stock here auto high beam toggles here and then when the headlamps are on we can toggle those on and off and then flash here 
And then with the rain sense wipers, we have the controls for those here. So there's one time off, auto, low, high, and then auto, we can adjust the sensitivity there. And our rear wiper, we have off, intermittent, or intermittent on, excuse me. And then push back for the rear wiper fluid, pull up for the front wiper fluid. And behind the steering wheel on the left side, we can go through the trackless radio station presets. Behind the steering wheel on the right side, we can go through volume up, down. And then cruise controls are here. So we can toggle that, cancel, set the speed. Forward collision alert gap adjust is here. And then we do have the mute button, voice recognition, and then shortcuts for the system. So we can hit this little music note, pulls up the audio sources. We can hit this phone button and it'll pull up the Bluetooth when it's available. Now my favorite feature is being able to hold this. And then when you let off, it'll go ahead and give you different gauge face options. And my favorite is going to be gauge two, but you have so many different options in terms of what the, the gauge cluster looks like. But that's my favorite just because I can kind of see the revs, like how high the engine's revving, and then it shows me speed as well. And then you have the fuel tank on the left and then the engine temperature on the right. And then you can still see the following distance and all of that. But there's our push button start. Finally, here's the key fob with remote start. And next is go ahead and take this Encore GX Avenir out on the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive here in the Encore GX Avenir, can't really feel a big difference between the 1.2 liter and the 1.3 liter right now. I'm gonna get on it a little bit and see if I can feel a difference, but so far in terms of acceleration, it feels about the same. And with this feeling like the 1.2 liter, it still has pretty good pickup overall. We're gonna give it some throttle here. And it just, it moves with it being a CVT. You don't have to worry about shift points or anything. So it just, based on your throttle response, the transmission puts out the power. And overall, the ride quality is pretty good. And sound acoustics are great. Just feeling, a, hearing a little bit of wind noise, but it's almost like the car is fighting the wind. That's just how well insulated the sound is. But pretty easy to control. And I think one of the reasons I would go with the Avenir, me in particular, I just love the styling here, just how they redid the Encore GX and then on top of offering this Avenir trim, especially with these wheels, this white frost paint. It's just a stunning looking vehicle. But I mean, pretty easy to drive just in general. And then you're still getting 30 miles per gallon on average. Now I will say for the money, this can be this can be steep in terms of the price point. It's almost 37,000 bucks. But I think a lot of people are thinking it, looking at vehicles from a different perspective now. It used to be how much space can you get for the amount of money, how much power can you get, but it's really just what can I save buying this vehicle, whether it's in the long-term reliability, whether it's how much gas, how much the overall maintenance will be, because these days everything is so expensive, it's not really just about the the price, the overall price of a car because cars are becoming more expensive just to maintain as they become more difficult, more safe. Oil changes used to be able to do that at home. Now it's a, it's a chore to do certain things because you have to reset this computer or make sure you do this before you take off the oil cap or whatever. So it's just nice to 
this here, you have the CVT, so you wanna keep that maintained, but having a 1.3 liter turbo is really not as difficult as you would expect. Just as long as you take care of your oil changes, don't put your foot into it. I should say regularly. And I like the follow distance indicator here. So it kind of shows you how close you get into the vehicle in front of you. I kind of want to use the horn on this car that just pulled out in front of me and didn't go. But we already tested that out, so. But again, for the money, I think it's a, uh, especially if you're more concerned, I shouldn't say more concerned, but if a big deciding factor is how a vehicle looks, I think this is one of the, I think it's the best small SUV out right now, the sub, a subcompact SUV, I guess. This one might still be considered a compact because it's not necessarily an Invista or Trailblazer, but it's still a small SUV. And it's not as big as, let's say, uh, an Equinox or something like that. So to me, this is a pretty good option. Again, if you want something that looks great, definitely pay the extra money. You won't be disappointed with this. Just make sure you keep it. But these are actually holding their values because I think it's a new class of just these small SUVs that are taking over the market. But this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Buick Encore GX Avenir.